moving on here, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the fuel rail. And so there's a couple of bolts that basically lock down the fuel rail. I remember to quit touching it. So there's two of them. I'm going to go ahead and start. Breaking those loose. There's another one here. Okay. We broke that. Now. Two 10 millimeter bolts out of the way. And there shouldn't be another bolt released as far as the fuel rail is concerned. So I can begin to loosen up and move out of the way of this fuel rail because I'm going to need to get to the exhaust manifold that's in the back. But once this disconnects and pops out, I can swing all this out of the way. So we'll have more. More leverage, and I'll set these two you know, to the side because I'm going to put those back on the posts that they come out of. In the meantime, let me grab my handy dandy screwdriver. Side one, side two, out of our way. And while we're down here, we'll go ahead and we will remove. And this don't look too in bad shape. But I'm going to go ahead and replace them just to be on the safe side. Because we need to get this part out here anyway. That's our uh, EGR. Uh, valve bypass off of the intake manifold in the back. So once that all comes out, it'll all go ahead and get cleaned up. We'll clean the gunk out of it and all that stuff. But man, this thing will be, it'll be a burning a nicely. <laughs> 